Namaste, friends. I'm Heather Wiest with Love, Serve, Inspire. And today I'll be guiding you through an express yoga flow, 30 minutes or less. If you like to move to music, you can access my Express Yoga Flow playlist on Spotify at Love, Serve, Inspire. For today's practice, we'll be using two blocks, or if you don't have blocks, two thick books would work. I'm here to guide you, but you are always your best teacher. So please listen to your body, stay safe, and have fun. Today's attribute that we're working with is patience. And patience isn't necessarily the ability to wait, but it's how we act while we're waiting. So two intentions that we'll be working with today are, I pause, breathe, and then respond. And I am patient with myself and others. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of tapping today, emotional freedom technique to invite in these intentions. Feel free to use any other intentions that resonate with you today. So we're gonna begin by just tapping the side of the hand, it's the karate chop point. So tapping works with the meridian lines in our body to help calm us and bring in any intentions we're trying to bring in. And from here, we're gonna tap on the inside of the eyes in between the eyebrows. and then the outsides of the eyes. So you can bring in, I pause, breathe, and then respond. And then underneath the eyes, I am patient with myself and others. And then underneath the nose, underneath the lips, and then by the collarbone area, just a little bit under and over. And then underneath the armpit, about three inches under, right where the broad line would be for ladies. And then the top of the head. So one more round here, bringing in those intentions of patience. Where do you need patience today? It's maybe bringing in that person or that situation in between the eyebrows. outsides of the eyes, under the eyes, under the nose, under the lips, between the chin and the lips, right under and over the collarbone area. Underneath the armpit, and the crown of the head and the top of the head. And just pausing, maybe closing the eyes if that's comfortable for you. Inviting in a little more patience today, not necessarily just waiting, but how we act while we're waiting. Softly opening the eyes, we're gonna transition right into downward facing dog. So spreading the fingers wide, you're going to tuck the toes as you exhale, the hips are going to come up and back. Pressing the hands down and away, tops of the thighs are pressing back and up. Those front ribs are hugging in. You're going to bend into the left knee, grounding the right heel down to comfort, getting a little more opening into the right leg. And then we're going to go ahead and switch, bend into the right knee, seal that left heel down, opening up more into the left side this time. And then grounding both heels down, another press into the hands, really extending through the spine. And then we're gonna walk the feet up towards the hands, coming into a ragdoll forward fold. Let the crown of the head reach down towards the mat. If you'd like, you're gonna interlace the hands behind the back, draw the hands away from the spine if you can, and soften the shoulders away from the ears, create length in the sides of the neck. And then lastly, we'll interlace the hands behind the neck gently, draping the elbows down towards the mat, getting a nice release for the cervical spine and the neck. Be gentle. And then bringing the hands to the mat, bend into the knees, hands to the hips on the next inhale with a flat back. We'll come up to standing. Finding your mountain pose. 
We're going to be taking a heart opening variation in our flow today. So we'll start with our half sun salutation. We're going to inhale the arms up and overhead. We're going to exhale the hands behind the back, interlace, bend the knees and forward fold. You're going to take your belly to your thighs and the arms are going to raise as high as they can for comfort. Then we're going to inhale, sweep the arms up for Utkatasana, fierce pose. And then exhale, straighten through the legs to comfort, forward fold. Root to the feet, sweep the arms up to the sides, up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart, the front ribs hug in. One more time with that half sun. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, the hands behind the back, interlace, bend the knees a lot. Bring the belly onto the thighs, the arms lift up overhead. We'll inhale, sweeping the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Root to the feet, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Adding in that with Sun A. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, the hands behind the back, interlace, bend the knees a lot, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, Utkatasana, shin shift back in space. Exhale, plant the hands. Right leg back, followed by the left. You're welcome to drop to the knees at any time. Exhale through Chaturanga all the way to the mat for the first round. Pushing through the tops of the feet, kneecaps lift, elbows hug in, chin and chest lifts, low cobra. Exhale back down, tuck the toes. You're going to look through half or full plank. Tops of the thighs bring you back. Downward facing dog. That left foot will come up between the hands, low lunge, followed by the right. Inhaling for the half lift and exhale, fold. Root to the feet, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll take that on the second side. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, the hands behind the back, bend the knees a lot. Forward, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Utkatasana, shin shift back, booty down low. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Left leg back this time, followed by the right. Here in plank, drop to the knees if you need. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog this round. Transitioning through plank if you need. Meeting in downward facing dog. Another full inhale and exhale. We're going to bend into the knees. Gaze forward, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to the feet, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Adding on here, inhaling the arms up. Exhale, the hands behind the back, bend the knees forward, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, fierce, fierce pose, the butt drops down. Exhale, ground the hands. You're going to take the right leg back, seal the right foot down, warrior one. Inhaling the arms up and overhead. A nice, generous bend into the front knee. That back foot sealing down to comfort. We're going to interlace the hands behind the back, taking humble warrior. So you're going to extend through the spine. You're going to bring that left shoulder on the inside of that left knee, keeping that bend into the front knee, and then lifting the hands away from the spine if you can, releasing the crown of the head towards the mat. One more full breath. Then keep the bend to the knee. You're going to inhale, lift up, finding warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. One more full breath here, gazing over that front middle finger, lengthening the tailbone down towards the heels, the frontal hip points lift. We'll cartwheel the hands to the mat. Left leg will come back, plank pose. You can drop to the knees if you need. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra. Or upward facing dog, strong arms, strong legs. Transitioning through plank if you need, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, we'll float the right leg up and back, three legged dog. That right foot's gonna come up between the hands. You're gonna seal the back foot down for warrior one. Keep the bend into the right knee. Beautiful. Really feeling warrior one. And then we'll exhale the hands behind the back. You're going to extend through the spine. You're going to keep the bend into the front knee and you're going to bring the right shoulder on the inside of that right knee. Humble warrior. And then lift the hands away from the back, 
release the crown of the head. Return back up and then open up into warrior two pose. Really keep the bend into the front knee. Right thigh is drawing down and under, strong back leg. Gazing over the front middle finger. Then we'll cartwheel the hands to the mat. Right leg will come back. You're in plank pose. Exhale through, chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra, upward facing dog. Transitioning through plank if you need to. And then downward facing dog. Beautiful. We're gonna inhale, shift into plank. And then we're gonna go ahead and come into forearm plank. We're gonna hold forearm plank for some shoulder and core work here. So I like to interlace my hands. You can keep the arms in like a number 11 facing forward. And we're gonna hold about five more full breaths. So not a super long hold. Frontal hip points lift as the tailbone lengthens towards the back heel. Gazing straight down so you're releasing the neck and the jaw, drawing the navel in towards the spine. One more full breath. And then we'll release onto the belly for Sphinx pose. So the arms are like an 11s now. And you're taking your feet just a little bit wider so you can release through the lower back. Pubic bone roots into the mat. So feel that slight drawing in of the lower belly. We're gonna take a lion's breath here. So you're gonna take a nice deep inhale. Stick the tongue out and go. <sighs> One more, you can do it with me. Nice deep inhale, tongue out. <sighs> Just a nice way to release the jaw and facial muscles. From here, we're gonna come into half frog to get a nice stretch for our quads. So I'm gonna go and angle my left arm at a diagonal. I'm gonna bend into my right knee and you can stay here if you want, if it's hard to reach back for the leg. If you can, you're gonna take your right arm in internal rotation and find a nice stretch for that quadricep. You can bend down onto the foot or just keep the knee bent and really lift up through that left arm and elbow. Nice, nice stretch, one more full breath. And then we'll gently release that leg back down. We're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna take my right arm this time a little more diagonal. I'm gonna bend into my left knee. So you're welcome to stay here where you can lift up through that right arm, bring the left arm back, hand reaching for the foot and trying to draw it in internal rotation for the shoulder. That doesn't work, just catch on to it however is best for you and find the stretch into the left quadricep as you try to ground the hip bones back down towards the mat. One more full breath. And then we'll gently release that leg back. From here, we're gonna go ahead and release the forehead down towards the mat. We're gonna take our arms down by our sides, palms facing down. And now we're gonna interlace the hands behind the back. So working towards Shalambhasana, locust pose. So you're gonna inhale, lift up the chest and shoulders first, finding that back bend, and then lift the feet off of the mat. So try to lengthen through the knees and trying to get long from the crown of the head through the toes. And then exhale, release, keep the hands, relax the head, and let the shoulders just relax. We're gonna do that one more round, Shalambhasana, locust pose. Back bends are so good to strengthen our back body. So you're gonna inhale, lifting up, torso and legs, find your nice variation of Shalambhasana Locust Pose. Really extend and lengthen through the inner knees, lift up chest and shoulders, toes reach long, and then exhale, release, nice job. Release the arms, you're gonna take them out in front of you. We're gonna come into a pose I like to call um, Superman and Spider-Man. I could call it Superwoman and Spider-Woman as well, whatever you'd like. So what I'm gonna do, you can watch me for the first round. I'm gonna inhale, lifting up arms and legs. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna bend into the arms, cross my ankles. Inhale back, exhale down. So you can join me now, we're gonna do two more rounds. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend, exhale down. One more round. 
Inhale, lift arms and legs. Exhale, bend to the elbows and the knees, cross the ankles. Inhale, extend straight. Exhale down. Nice work. You're going to bring both hands and stack them underneath the forehead and just allow yourself to rest. Soften the body. Tune into the breath. I pause, breathe, and respond. Just a great way to invite in patience. So our next round, we're going to be taking Dhanurasana, bow pose. You're welcome to take the locus, Shalambhasana, or the, um, any other of the belly back bends that we have been doing so far, the Spider-Man and the Superman Spider-Man. So I'm going to take Dhanurasana. So I'm going to take my arms down by the sides, and you're going to bend into both knees. And you're going to notice if you can reach back for the feet or the ankles. If you can't, then you're going to stay with Shalambhasana, that locus pose with the arms interlaced behind the back. We're going to do one long hold of either Dhanurasana bow pose or Shalambhasana locus pose. So as you're ready, everybody, we're going to inhale, lift. So if you're in Dhanurasana, you're lifting the upper body. You're lifting the knees and the quads off of the mat. You can flex or point your feet. You can even invite a little rocking in if you're in the full pose. So gaze, classic is at the cheekbones. You can gaze forward if you like. We're going to try to hold two more full breaths wherever you're at. Good job. Lift, 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 lift. And then exhale. Release gently down. You're going to draw the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to inhale up. And we're going to take an embryo pose, which is a knees together, child's pose. If you have the blocks or books, they're going to come underneath your shoulders. It's a nice release. So I'm going to bring my blocks here. I'm going to bring my shoulder heads to touch and release the head down. Three full breaths. I am patient with myself and others. Then we'll inhale, lift on up. We're going to be coming down onto our backs. We're going to be working a variation of bridge pose using a block between the knees. So if you have a block or book, grab it. We're going to gently come down onto our back. You're going to come all the way down and you're going to bring the block the narrow side is what I like, but you can experiment between the knees. You're going to bring your feet hip width distance and where it's comfortable for you. And we're just going to lift up the glutes off of the mat. So it's a glute bridge here. Gaze to the ceiling if you can. And I want you to tighten those glutes. Tighten your butt. Squeeze into the block and tighten the bottom. So find that action there. And then we'll exhale, release down. Nice job. Just activating that back body. We're going to inhale, lift up again. This time you're going to bring your feet closer together. And you're going to extend the right leg straight forward, just straight out from the knee. And I want you to squeeze that left glute a lot. Strengthen that glute, hug into the block. One more full breath. And then gently bring that right foot down. Keep the lift of the pelvis. Hug into the block. We're going to extend the left leg forward to flex into the foot. Now turn on that right glute. Turn it on. Squeeze into the block. Getting some great work here. Helping our glutes, our lower back and spine. And then bring that left foot down and gently release. Nice job. You're going to take the block from in between the legs and we're going to come into supported bridge. So we're going to lift up the hips and pelvis, bring the block underneath the low back. You're welcome to stay here, or you can take your legs up to the sky for a modified shoulder stand. So there's so many options here. You can take the legs forward for a psoas release. You can elevate the block to different levels. We're just going to take five more full breaths in whatever variation you choose. Beginning to soften the body, tune into the breath. And as you notice your breath, I want you to notice your natural inhale count and double out the exhalation. 
So if your inhale is a four, then your exhalation would be an eight. If your inhale is a six, maybe you could take your exhalation to a 12. Really deepen the exhalation, very calming for the nervous system. One more full breath wherever you're at in your supported bridge shape. We're going to bend into the knees, ground the feet back down. If you're on a higher level of the block, you'll bring it to the lower level step by step. And then we'll gently release the block all together. From here, we'll take a full body stretch. You're going to bring the left knee into the chest. And we're going to cross it over. Take that right hand on the outside of the left thigh for a nice twist, crossing the body. Left arm extends out. Maybe you take the gaze to the ceiling or towards the left side. Relax. Two more full breaths. Mm. Then we'll inhale back to center. Extend the left leg long. This time bring the right knee into the chest. And you'll cross over, taking that twist to the left. Arm out. You might get a snap, crackle, pop. One more deep, full breath. And releasing back to center, hugging both knees into the chest. Maybe you take the forehead up towards the knees, apanasana, giving yourself a big hug. And then releasing back down. From here, we're going to be taking, I'm going to give you the option of a soft fish pose for Shavasana using the blocks. So it's a nice heart opener. So I like to have my block um, long ways and kind of mid height for my head. And then the flattest level right at the shoulder blades or the bra line area would, would be right here for the thoracic spine. And I'm gonna keep my knees bent. It just feels better on my lower back if I don't have extra support underneath the knees. And again, this is always optional. You can take a classic Shavasana, finding a nice spot for you. And then softening the arms down to the sides, allowing the shoulder heads to relax. Scanning the body head to toe. Releasing tension. Crown of the head. Forehead softens. The eyes relax. Maybe they're closed if that's comfortable for you. Creating space through the sides of the neck as the shoulders release away from the ears. Softening through the torso, the thighs, hips, legs, calves, shins, and feet. Allow yourself to let go just for a couple of minutes. Resting deeply in Shavasana.
You are welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ready to transition and you have the blocks behind you, you're gently going to transition into a fetal position on either side. I'm just noticing the effects of your practice, even a short express practice. Notice the balance of body, mind, and spirit. Noticing a little more calm and patience. And just remembering that patience is not necessarily just waiting. It's how we act while we're waiting. Remembering to pause, breathe, and then respond. Being patient with ourselves and others. Honoring any personal intention you've set for your practice and transitioning into a comfortable seat. We'll draw our hands into heart center. It's always an honor and a pleasure to guide your practice. Thank you for showing up and sharing your beautiful presence with me. From the light within me, I honor and respect the light within you. Walk in grace and peace and shine bright, my friends. Much love and namaste. Feel free to stay connected with me on my website, love serve inspire.com